Andre. And that's Sammy in the back. Yeah. <laughs> if you hear somebody making funny comments or complaining, that's our three-year-old. Sam Bam. And we are driving back to Denver right now from Breckenridge, Colorado. Yep. Actually passing through Frisco and it is so beautiful up here in the mountains. It's really just gorgeous. Um, this is so wunderschön here. We're fahren gerade ja von Breckenridge, von dem Ausflug, den wir heute gemacht haben, vom Wandern, Hiking. We're going back to the hotel now. Yeah. Um, so I thought, well, we thought, yeah. we thought it would be a good time now to talk about. To get a haircut. <laughs> Or to get a haircut, that's right. Or to get a haircut. It might be a good time right now to get a haircut. Whoever needs to hear this, get your haircut. Yeah. Um, but. On my Instagram account, um, when we drove up here to Colorado from Kansas, where we live, yep. I asked um, what kind of questions you guys have on my Instagram account. So if you want to follow us on Instagram, um, it's Ezra Smiles and Dre Mills 134. 134. Yep. Yep. Um, so those questions you guys asked us, you know, we thought, and well, we're doing Sammy a trip, Mills. let's answer those. Yep. Oh, and Sammy Mills. Yep. Sammy Mills too. All right. Question number one. I remember. Number one, two. <laughs> Question number one was um, three one. characteristics, yeah. drei Eigenschaften, die one, ihr aneinander two, nicht mögt, und dann drei, die ihr five, aneinander liebt. Five. So, three characteristics that you guys don't like on each other, and then three character oh boy. characteristics that you love. It's gonna be tough. Uh oh. All right. Mile, who's, who's going first? Right to merge onto Me! Easy. Sammy, you going first? <laughs> Sammy, what don't you like on mommy and daddy? Okay. You, you, you don't like baseball. Okay, got it. All right. What yes, do you, I do. Oh, oh, okay. Well, what do you love about mommy and daddy? Uh, jumping on your trampoline. Okay. Okay. I Good love one. that too. Yeah. All right. Well, Andre, do you want to start? You go what first. Do you, what, do you, what do you think I should start? Positive or negative? Uh, let's go with the negative. So the negative. positive is at the end. <laughs> Whew. Hey, you're not going to punch me or anything. No, I'm driving. Okay. Good. All right. So, negative. Uh oh, let's hear this. Let's see. Uh, negative, negative, negative. All right, well, I think what a negative thing about you. Actually, we shouldn't, we should skip this part because it's my birthday today. Yep. So, like. It's got all positive? That's kind of messed up. You know what? We're just going to go all positive. Yeah, let's just go all, all positive. Right. So, positive. <laughs> uh, first of all, positive is today is your birthday whoop, whoop. right and even though you're a, a year older right you don't look older than, than 21 right? oh so you're, you're such a liar yes. no no i'll be honest you're, you're, you're aging very very gracefully oh thank you i, appreciate I think it's because that. of all the the traveling and, and vacations and uh <laughs> and uh Uh, I'm kind of stressful this last couple of weeks. Yeah, yeah, but um, whatever, whatever you're doing, you need to keep it up. Thank you. All right, so you you age gracefully. Thank you, Chef. All right, so that's one. Number two is Take your that. huh? Take that. <laughs> okay, so number two is you're a very positive person. You always look at um, the positive side of things. All right, you always encourage me to be positive, yeah. and because of that, it always keeps our family moving in the right direction. Uh -huh. Hope so, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Number three is that you're a very empathetic and compassionate person. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You always uh, put others before yourself. Mm. Um, you love servicing others. You know, even if it's you know a friend in need or a stranger that that, that reaches out, yeah. uh, you, you never hesitate to help people out. So. Um, so yeah. I'm yeah. gonna make a right here. Yeah, I, I kind of see that at last minute. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, so that's it. Oh, thank you. Yeah. yeah. So although, positive, remember. Although that can kind of be sometimes negative to me. What do you mean? If, I, if I'm if i always like helping others, you know, because I always try and sometimes I put more on my plate yeah. than I can handle. But yeah, thank you. Okay. Um. So, okay, here we go. Three positive things. Three positive Eigenschaften, die ich an Yeah. Um. I love about you that you are hard-working man and there we go Bring so it on. yeah <laughs> and i'm really driven oh look how beautiful this is oh man guys oh, you wow. should see this this is a lake where, is, so where, where is this um frisco, we're leaving colorado yeah just yeah. right right outside of frisco Co colorado <laughs> thanks sam thank you sammy yeah so for that background yeah he's he's like our, our background music oh man 
background. He's like our background motivator. But, <laughs> but yeah, you are very hardworking and driven. Okay. Um, because I remember when we, when we started dating, like eight years, no, nine no, years ago, like yeah, a long time, time ago. Yeah. Mommy, where are we going? We're going back to Denver, Shatzi. Um. Yeah, okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Um, you were so Andre is in the army, right? That's so we, right. We met when he was stationed in Germany, and he was a sergeant at that time. And, and now you're you're a CW tour warrant officer too. So you crossed over from enlisted to becoming a warrant officer. Okay. And in the meantime, you also graduated with your associate's degree, your bachelor's degree, and you're currently one of my students. <laughs> you are right, yeah. getting your master's. So I love that about you. I don't think I could be with somebody who wasn't, um, you know, as motivated. Okay. <laughs> I, I appreciate that. Okay. Yeah. Um, number two is that you are a devoted husband and father. Yes, thank and you. And I don't think I could find yeah. anybody better for Sammy. Like, you know, so the thing is, I grew up and with my, um, thank God, you know, like in, an, in, in a really loving home. Although my parents argued sometimes, which is normal. But my dad, um, my parents had a, their own business, so it was always really stressful and busy. But my dad really made sure that on the weekends, we'd spend time together as a family. We would like do outdoor stuff, go for walks, mm -hmm. hiking, riding bicycles. Hiking, so, you say? Hiking. Yes, yeah, yeah, I mean, we love hiking That's now. why I love hiking. Yeah, yeah I mean, we love hiking. So I think he's had a really positive role model for me, and I'm so happy that I found you, you know, somebody Aww. who was... Somebody who is also so actively engaged with yeah. Sammy. Like if it's no matter if it's like getting the trampoline, setting that up, or playing soccer with him. All these right, Sammy, Daddy does a lot of cool fun stuff with you. Say yes. Okay. <laughs> but no pressure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and number three. There um, huh? There's pressure? Okay. <laughs> number three, what I love about you is that you also really help in the house. Okay. And I think with us both working. It's tough though. Yeah, it's yeah. tough. But I don't think that I, I would, how can I say? It would be even harder if you wouldn't also participate in doing like chores at home and cooking okay. and cleaning up and all that. So I really love that because I think all in all, we're really good as a team. Yeah. sound cliche you know, you know teamwork you know yeah. does everything and, it, and without it yes. you know things would be a little more challenging and yeah. stressful so and you guys seriously when i mean like like people always ask me how are you so motivated how do you do that a lot of my strength comes of course from within from my family and like wanting to achieve certain things in life but also from the conversations we have together because i remember in germany and when i went to school there I failed one really important exam and then after that, like I already had the flight booked and everything. It was said that I was moving to the States, right? Andre has already been um, in the States because he, like his orders changed. So we had 14 months of like a long distance marriage actually. Uh -huh. And so I remember I came there and I was like, oh, what am I going to do now? And I had to figure everything out, wait for my green card for like half a year, I think, yeah. right? And I remember this one conversation that we had where I was like, I just want to like, successful I yeah. just want to get shit done like I don't want to be this person who failed that exam and now people think like I have no degree mm -hmm. and you, I remember you telling me Ezra you're a little shark yeah. <laughs> I called you a shark yeah you called me a shark okay yeah you don't remember yeah I, I, I do <laughs> I was just trying to think about like, why I came up with a shark I don't know of, of, of all the wild like, okay yeah I get it yeah sharks are dangerous Second question. Und zwar kam die zweite Frage aus Deutschland um, und es wurde gefragt, warum der Andre in der Army ist und nicht in einer anderen um, Branch vom Militär. 
Right. So basically what I understand as you said is why did I join the army instead of the other branches? Yep. Okay. So to be cut and dry, <laughs> the army was just the first one that came knocking. Yeah. Um, so a, a little backstory. I joined the army when I was 17. Um, young. Yeah. I, I know that seemed young, but I guess at, at the time, you know, it was just, it was kind of normal. I graduated high school when I was 16. And they tried to recruit me then, but I was too young. So shortly after my 17th birthday, they came back. You know, they, they gave me the old spiel. They gave me the, the benefits and all yeah. this other stuff. And then at, at the time, I had, you know, I had a couple college options, but they were kind of expensive. And, you know, we were... Yeah, because the system is so different than yeah, the one in Germany. So it was going to be challenging to pay for it, and then, yeah, there were a lot of opportunities, you know, to, for me to pay for it on my own. So I said, you know what? Let me join the military with the intent of going to college, mm -hmm. which I did. Mm -hmm. Right? I, I, I did go to college. Why? Wow, you're still in the military. Now. Yeah. Well, yeah. I, well, I'm still in the military, and I, and I got my degree thanks to you. You definitely <laughs> helped to to, to motivate me to get that done. Yeah. I know, trapped? we're trapped. Yeah, we're in a tunnel, Sammy. Yeah, we're, we're, we're going through a tunnel right now, guys. Yeah, but um, yeah, but the, the army was just the, the first one that came knocking. I almost decided not to, like after I already kind of committed. Yeah. I almost changed my mind because, uh -oh. yeah, because you know, at, at the time it was during, you know, during, uh, it was right after 9-11. Oh, wow. Things were kind of um, dangerous in Iraq and Afghanistan. And for a 17-year-old kid, yeah, that's scary. Yeah, it was kind of scary. So I almost changed my mind. And um, you know, last minute, I said, you know what? I made a commitment. Let me just go ahead and follow through. Mm -hmm. And yeah, 15 years later, here we are. <laughs> yeah. True. Crazy, right? Yeah. yeah. All right, that's it. Yeah. Frage Nummer drei war, ob der Andre Deutsch um, spricht oder auch versteht. Sammy, Sammy, what do you think? Does Daddy speak German? No. Does Daddy understand German? No. Und du? Sprichst du Deutsch? No. Doch. No. Du sprichst Deutsch, you speak German? No. Oh, Alice is no. Yeah. Sammy, do you like bananas? No. <laughs> okay, he's lying. Yeah. <laughs> Sammy loves bananas. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, so to answer your question, I do understand German. Yeah. Not a lot. But, yeah, yeah, right? That's funny, right, Sam? So, I was on the verge of speaking it, I feel like, before we left Germany. Before you left, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Er war so knapp davor, es an, zu an, also, mit dem Sprechen anzufangen. Yeah. And, um, to this day, you know, I'm, I'm able to, to pick up things <laughs> conversationally. If it's fast, you know, I may have problems with it, but if I can keep up with the tempo, I'd be able to pick out a couple words. Yeah, so I can't talk about him on the telephone with friends when he's there. Yeah. Oh, the Andre heard you again, man. Then he'll be like, what? I know exactly what you said. Yeah. And I'll come back like, hey, what are you talking, talking about? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 So, yeah, yeah. that's it. Die nächste Frage war an mich gerichtet und an Sammy. Sammy betrifft die auch. Ja. Ähm, und zwar, warum sprichst du eigentlich kein Deutsch mit Sammy? Oder kaum? Also, das klingt irgendwie nach einem Vorwurf schon. Das ist kind of sound like an accusation somehow. A little bit, right? Ja. Yeah. Yeah. So, I'm like, mm, hold up. <laughs> so, what you see on my Instagram is only seconds of our life. Yeah. You don't see everything, like, every, like what we talk on a daily basis. But the thing is, das Ding ist einfach, wir wohnen halt in den USA und Sammy geht auch zur Daycare hier oder jetzt in die Kita ähm, oder im Kindergarten, weil es ist ja schon drei. Ähm, und außerdem spricht der Andre, wie gerade eben schon gesagt, kein Deutsch. Das macht es alles ein bisschen schwieriger. It makes it more difficult with him not speaking German. And you know, at home, because of course we want to talk and communicate, so cool. and I want to have conversations that everybody understands we speak English. Ähm, aber ich spreche auch viel Deutsch mit Sammy. German with him yep. too. I um, wiederhole the words. I teach him the words, and 
you know, I um, when we used to live in Georgia, I taught uh, German as a foreign language because I got that certificate from my university in Germany. Because I originally wanted to become a teacher, and um, I remember that one family that had a three-year-old kid. What was his name again? I don't know, but isn't that crazy to think like that was like years ago, and now we have a three-year-old kid. Oh, yeah. yeah, and so you know, I have the material, and I know that when we go to Germany. The kid with the spiky helmets. Yeah. yeah, you guys were sharing toys. That was so nice of you, Samuel. Yeah. Das sind wir zum Beispiel nach Deutschland gehen und ja auch ein bisschen. Buzz Lightyear, right? Yeah. Yeah, you're a very nice kid. Und er ein bisschen älter ist und auch mal dort bleiben kann, bei meinen Eltern und dort zur Schule gehen kann, dann wird er voll schnell lernen. Kids pick up so easily. Yeah. Wow, super cool, Sammy. Yeah. That's it. That's it. All right. Okay.
Oh no! What? But it's mommy's birthday! I wanna go for a nice birthday dinner! Yeah! You can have mac and cheese? Yeah! Yeah! Okay, okay good. Yeah, good? Yeah. Nice as a bird. And hot yeah. dogs. And hot dogs. Okay. Yeah. You have yeah. a. Alright, so we have one more question. One more question. Um, und zwar, wie ist das Leben als Deutsche in den USA? How is it living as a German in America? Yeah. Nice. See? <laughs> I like my German. Yeah. Uh, oh, you mean me? <laughs> well, I like the fact that I understand German. You know oh. what I was trying to say. I thought you said I like my German. Oh, I love my German. Oh, thank yeah. you. Um, <laughs> it was a tough one, huh? Kind of open-ended. Yeah, yeah. It's very broad. It's a very, very good question. Also, it's is schön. I like it. Yeah. I love it. Well, well, you're enjoying the, the beautiful yeah, part you know, of America right now, right? You know, seriously, as I, I mean, I'll be here for what, almost six years now? Mm -hmm. November 2013, I moved to the States. Yeah. Um, es ist bald sechs Jahre, dass ich hier wohne in den USA. Und in der Zeit haben wir in ganz unterschiedlichen Ecken der USA gelebt. Yeah, we lived in uh, Texas, in El Paso, El in der Paso. Wüste. Um, in the desert, we, we lived in Georgia, in den Südstaaten, um, in Columbus, yep. und so circa eine Stunde 40 Minuten von Atlanta entfernt. Und jetzt leben wir in Kansas, im mittleren Westen. Ooh, Kansas. Yeah. Definitely an experience so far in Kansas. Oh, definitely. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. oh, we like it now, right? Oh, I. It's I mean, all right. It's, you were like, oh, I love it. No, because no, like, I, I, I didn't right. want to. I didn't want to lie. Like, it's not bad. It's the best place. However. I'm, I'm starting to get used to it. Yeah, me too. We, we, we have our things that we like. Yeah, man, our good places. Yeah. Yeah, you really get used to it. Yeah. Um, I think it's just a sense of home, you know, that kind of comes after you live in a place for a while. Yeah. And when I moved to the States um, to be with Andre, it wasn't my first time here. So I was the first time I was here, I was the first time I was in um, als ich in den USA war, war ich im Auslandssemester, da war ich in San Diego in Kalifornien. Yeah. Vor genau zehn Jahren, exactly ten years ago. It's crazy wow. how time flies. Yeah. Um, I think there's a lot of perks of living in this country. I love nature here. How different it is. Like, that I sometimes understand why some Americans don't own a passport. Because if you, no matter if you want the mountains or the beach, you got everything in one country. So you have like different countries with inside yeah. this country. Yeah. It's like if you're in Germany, you know, okay, I mean, yeah, now with the European Union, I guess you can travel around yep. without a passport. But in former times, you would have to have a passport too, and there were those border controls. But you can, seriously, like you have the Caribbean in Florida, right? Yeah, Remember when we were in yeah. Key West? Yeah, Key West. It's like in the Caribbean. Yeah. Um, same, and, same weather, yeah. Daddy everything. Und ich finde, dass, ähm, dass es aber auch ganz viele Sachen gibt, die halt so anders sind, dass man sich da wirklich erstmal daran gewöhnen muss. Also ich finde, die Amerikaner sind schon auch anders. I think Americans are very different from Germans. Yeah. Um, the culture is really different. And other people might think that, you know, I, I look like, like an American. I guess once I open my mouth, I kind of I tell yeah, myself. You just, you just give it away. <laughs> They're like, Sam, Sam, you gotta wait, okay? They're like, where are you from? <laughs> you're not, you're not from here. Um, yeah, but I love it, you know, that's where we have our family now. Yeah. And so, yesterday, um, I went to Denver in the morning. Sam, help me. Sam, Sam, you gotta wait. No, 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 uh. Oh, you gotta check it out real quick? Yeah. So yesterday, I went to Denver, into like downtown Denver, while Andre and Sammy were hanging out at the pool and watching a soccer game. Und ich bin dann kurz um, in die Stadt rein. Und haben übergenommen zum ersten Sam Mal. Sam is not working, sorry Papa. Oh, Sammy, the internet isn't working here in the mountains, okay? Here, wait a little bit. So, my first Uber driver, he wasn't from America either. He is originally from Ethiopia. Yeah. And we had a really good conversation. He told me that he's been living in this country now for 35 years. Wow. And he only went back um, like three or four times. Mm -hmm. But his wife is also from Ethiopia and she wants to go back every year because she um, he said because girls are girls never really leave the family and I kind of feel like that too because I really you know I love my family and I always like every year I want to go back home I think ever since we lived um, since I lived in the States mm -hmm. yeah ich glaube ich bin so weit 
jedes Jahr nach Hause geflogen, ähm, weil ich es einfach dann so vermisse, obwohl ich das Leben hier aber auch total liebe. Und ja, yeah, the, the interesting thing was that the Uber driver said, he said, um, that this, this country here, this is now where you have your family, mm -hmm. where, you, where you have to start growing your own roots. Yeah. Um, and so we're trying to do that, definitely, right? Yeah. Yeah. Aber insgesamt muss ich sagen, gefällt es mir hier schon sehr gut. Also ich glaube, ich, ähm, ich weiß nicht, ob ich wieder irgendwann mal zurückziehen würde nach Deutschland. Das kommt natürlich auch drauf an, auf die Jobs und so weiter. Um, it depends on the job market and everything, you know, if we would ever go back to Germany. But now America already feels like home. Yeah. There's so many things I love. Like, I don't know, like it's my birthday and we're in Colorado and I just love it, you yeah, know. In the mountains. In the mountains and it makes me so happy, but also Like we have family living in New York City and in yeah, Florida, Florida and yeah. those are also amazing places to go to and so it's you just really can't compare one country with the other but being a German in America I feel like people are always friendly and always nice like when they hear my accent a lot of them are like oh my family is from Germany I'm like 80% German everybody comes telling you um, that their uncle is German and yeah. who, who else they know and so that's really fun or since you know I work with the military community people are like oh I was in Germany and yeah, then I, I was I was stationed in some place that, yeah. <laughs> that some base that no longer exists yeah. right? <laughs> I was stationed in Krumbach well, I don't yeah. know <laughs> and or some of them like drift away in like daydreams of the good old times and then they snap back and like oh shoot <laughs> yeah. All right. yeah yeah all right cool all right guys that was it yeah that was it thank you for watching yeah I I know people, you guys have a, a lot of things you could be doing, so I, I really appreciate the time. Yeah. yeah. For tuning in to our Q&A. Yeah. Um, make sure to click the like button and yep. subscribe. And if you have any other questions, falls ihr noch irgendwelche anderen Fragen habt, die ihr uns gerne stellen würdet, kommentiert einfach drunter. Just yeah. drop your questions below. And um, more videos, especially about this trip, about my birthday weekend in Colorado. Woo -woo. Woo -woo. Coming soon. All right.